guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 8 of season 8 of Rob Geo Mega Collabs. For this episode, we're going to be wrecking the Couple Brothers' 8th album, Born in the Echoes. And album words essentially return to form for their more popular and accessible side in contrast to their previous album. Not only seeing the likes of Q-Tip and St. Vincent on Go and on Under Neon Life respectively, but also retreading the sounds of their earlier work. As a result of this, it propelled the duo back into the mainstream, mainly due to Go's commercial performance, and the album as a whole debuted at number one on the UK Albums chart. However, despite that, I think this is unfortunately my least favorite album from them, but still, I cannot wait to rank this album with you guys. So 13 people have enjoyed this episode, so here they are on screen, including myself, the links to all their accounts will be in the description down below. But yeah, let's get the discoveries out of the way. Please keep in mind that these rankings are based on our personal enjoyment, and they're also based on our personal opinions as well, so our rankings might be different from yours. You can also feel free to let me know your rankings as well as any thoughts you may have on this album by letting me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, I have nothing much to say, not any further ado, it's Born in the Echoes, ranked from worst to best, as ranked by more than one person. Enjoy! The first song tied for the number 10 spot is Just Bang. The second song tied for the number 10 spot is Taste of Honey. Number 9, Radiate. Number 8, Born in the Echoes. Number 7, EML Ritual. Number 6, Reflection. Number 5, I'll See You There. Number 4, Sometimes I Feel So Deserted. Number 3, Under Neon Lights. Number 2, Wide Open. Finally, number one, go. Not a test. We're only here to make you. We're only here to make you. We're only here to make you. We're only here to make you go. You gotta make it a time. And that was the ranking proper. Thanks to everyone who has participated. It is greatly appreciated. And as for what I think about Born the Echoes, it's a decent album and all, but. Like I said before, it's their weakest album in my opinion. It's only by a small margin though, because at least We Are The Night felt like a more interesting risk for them, while this feels more like a bit too much of a retread of their earlier work, while simultaneously feeling a bit more consistent than We Are The Night as well. On top of that, while a lot of these tracks aren't bad while they're on, I also would be lying by saying that a lot of them would be, a, would be among the absolute best of the best in their catalog in my opinion. However, that's not to say that it doesn't have its good or even outright great moments as the aforementioned Go is by far the best track on the album and its popularity is well deserved too. Just 
These lyrics never leave my head, Jesus Christ. I guess I can also shout out Wide Open and Under Neon Lights. They're both pretty great. As well as I'll See You There and Reflection, they're both pretty good tracks. Even Radiate is a good enough ambient detour for them, but the rest of the tracks range from underwhelming and boring at worst to okay at best. Overall, as previously stated, this is a decent album, but I've seen them pull off their popular sound better on other albums. But hey, if this is the worst the Chemical Brothers can do, then I'll take it over the worst the Prodigy can do, or even the worst Night Party can do. But still, not bad, just far from their best though, but let's see what some of you have to say. Also, I give these people not sure this album a score out of 10, and as a result, the average rating for this album is a 7.9 out of 10. So yeah, that's gonna do it for season 8, episode 8 of Rob Geo Mega Collabs. The next episode will be on their ninth and most recent album, No Geography. The links to the floor for No Geography will be in the description down below and also in the pinned comments, as per usual. And the floor will be closing on Sunday, March 26, 2023, at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. But yeah, I'm pretty much looking forward to seeing how many people partake in this, because even though No Geography doesn't necessarily reach up to the same heights as, say, Dig Your Own Hole, or Surrender, or Push the Button, or even further, I think No Geography is still a really great album from them regardless. And if I can be honest here, I really think it's impressive how this duo managed to pump out such a great album so late into their careers. But yeah, submit to the form if you're interested, links in the description and pinned comments. But yeah, we've made it to the end of the video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a like, share this form with your friends if you want to, and leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe as we're on the road to 8,000 subscribers. That's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye guys!